everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have a closet organization tips slash tour for you guys. I have been requested in the past to do a closet tour slash organization tips video, but I just didn't feel like my closet was very aesthetic. Like, look at it, it doesn't look very aesthetic. And I didn't think like anyone would be that interested. I was requested a lot, but like, I just didn't think anyone was that interested. And then my good friend on Instagram, Alexandra, she requested it. So I figured now is a good time to do it because right now I'm not feeling all that well. Uh, I came back from Vancouver and I actually thought I caught COVID. I didn't. I did five rapid tests and they all came back negative. I just had a really bad sore throat and I was kind of congested, so I really was worried that I caught COVID, however I didn't, so that was really good. But, I mean, now that mask mandate and vax mandate is lifted, I don't know. I, I mean, it's probably gonna catch up to you, but I'm still trying to like not catch it. So, um, regular colds do still exist, and probably because we've been masked for so long, my immunity just wasn't really <laughs> ready for all the germs that have been in the world and also the weather in vancouver was very rainy and very cold and i didn't expect that because they are typically warmer than ontario so that really messed with me but anyways i'm finally recovering now but i'm still not feeling 100 percent. so i decided i would just stay home and film this video for you guys because i actually haven't really cleaned out this closet in quite a while and i felt like this would be a more realistic tour to do as opposed to me like tidying everything and showing you guys like my closet looking a plus plus wow this I don't know what is happening with my hair. I'm so sorry for the way I look right now. I have a cold sore, my hair is a mess, I'm in sweats, I'm in TNA sweats actually, which is something that everyone likes. But anyways, I figured this tour is a more realistic tour than if I cleaned up, so let's get to it. Oh my God, I need to really fix this hair. Okay, so I've placed you in this corner because this is typically what you see coming into this room. This room actually used to be a guest room and then I decided that I don't have that many guests, so I decided to change it into a closet. You usually see this wall, which I decided to put hats up on because first, they look kind of nice as decor and it being a closet, hats being decor also kind of work together. So I have hats here. I stack my hats on top of each other because I just, I first of all, I don't really have that many hats, but second, I don't want to display all of them. So I just stack them on top of each other. And the hooks I use are actually these 3M hooks that you can get from like Home Depot, Walmart, Dollarama. So they are just sticky hooks and the hats actually hide the hook, which is really nice. And even my um, artwork is hung by the sticky stuff from the 3M stuff. Cause these are not really heavy. So this was a custom drawing that I got from like a Maple View event and this artwork I got from Etsy. I can't remember because I know Etsy did a collaboration with Indigo and they did some sort of like collaboration. So I have that from there. And then once again, I have baseball hats. And then this is my most aesthetic looking hat. So I put this on the top and nobody knows that there's a bunch of baseball hats back there. Lighting is getting super weird. So I had to turn my light on, but here I have my bags I have like a decorative shelf and then bags again and then underneath that usually in here I have my laundry basket because I like having it hidden away uh, my laundry baskets in the basement right now because I'm doing laundry and then I have this poof that I got for my birthday and it actually doubles as storage too and I keep all my bath bombs in there this is what this side looks like got this chair at home sense the pillow I actually got from this Instagram girl it's her name Autumn Hatchy. She used to sell them. I don't know if she still sells them. They were hella expensive, but I bought them and I really like them. And then this artwork, actually, I painted this myself. I kind of just copied something and I saw it on Pinterest or something like that. Um, reason why this looks like this is because I have to put those leggings away. I'm currently using this bag because that's the current bag that I was using before. And then this jacket I was wearing, so that's why I have that there. There's no rhyme or reason with my bags. I just prefer to keep them 
in its dust bag. Definitely can get dusty, which is why I keep everything in its dust bags if it has one. That Gucci bag, I don't have a dust bag for, so it kind of just stays out for now. And then the first kind of section here is smaller. My closet system is the Ikea Pax closet, which I feel like a lot of people use. And I actually built this myself. But see, I don't feel like my closet is very aesthetic because nothing looks good. For the most part, it's just more organizational. I'm more into like making it more functional than having it look aesthetic. So I will go through the little sections with you first. So you can see I have hung up tank tops here and for the most part they are color coordinated. Um, so you can see it's like tank tops and then I have like the knit tops and then other tank tops, this one I made, and then it goes to like shorter sleeve, longer sleeve, chiffon, and then all these back here are my button ups, like they, these are all button ups. Then I have this little glass section, which I was thinking I would have like stuff displayed on, but because this is on top, I really can't display anything. Right now I just have a random hand cream that needs to go in my purse, a Santol 26 from La Labo. This smells so good. I actually have a couple of these because I bought them during the Nordstrom anniversary. My Missouri jewelry box, which I love so much. Um, I do have affiliate link. Also 10% off for first time customers. And if you're not a first time customer, you can use a different email, but you didn't hear it from me. And then I have Cetaphil because girl has eczema. And then I have this because Lauren actually, Lauren or Elle Valicate recommended it to me, but Lauren, girl, what is this? It does not work that well. Not for me at least. Anyways, I need to use that up. My phone's just here because it is. Then I have this section, which I typically put my glasses here. I don't remember what was in here. So, I don't know, I had something here once upon a time, probably belts, and then more glasses. I have some random chains in here, like my next fashion chains that I put onto my bags. Um, more belts, this has miscellaneous cards. This, if you ever get a canker sore, not a cold sore, but a canker sore, this is a godsend, you need to buy this. So I always have that on hand because sometimes I get canker sores and I cannot stand it. I have a random Louis Vuitton <laughs> luggage tag and I don't even have anything in Damier Abin, so don't know why I have that. And then I have random watches, like this one's from Hong Kong Disneyland, these random keychains, a Louis Vuitton bandeau scarf, this is for my Apple Watch, lip stuff, uh, some clips. So just like random stuff that I have here. In my first drawer, I have Intimates. I have a bunch of mittens because I live in Canada, so it gets really cold. Bathing suits, shapewear, bras. I really don't have that many bras, but some random bras, bralettes. This is socks and boob tape. Like those are usually my new stuff. Then I have regular socks here as well. I didn't do laundry yet, so it's missing a patch here. And then period undies, more period undies, thongs, other underwear, and then this is like matching set underwear, if you will. I'm missing a sock, so I pushed it over here to see if I could find it, but I haven't been able to find it. Second drawer, I rolled all my sweaters, and the reason why I roll these sweaters is because, firstly, if you hang them, they kind of get misshapen, and then second, if you roll things, you can see exactly what sweater is what, and it's easier to grab. Then here I have like workout stuff. So you can see a lot of it. I'm missing like bald patches. It's because I've worn them and they went in the wash and I need to re-roll them back into place once they're clean. I have bras, some workout tops that these ones I've stacked because I just don't own all that many workout tops. So I just stacked them. But you can see it's like much easier to see what you have versus if you stack them, then all you see is like the first item. And then jeans I also rolled into place. And this is very easy, like it makes it much easier for me to know like which jean is which. So my boyfriend jean, um, random shorts, like I just know what's what and then it's easier for me to grab. Over here I have sweaters. I categorize them like sweater vests, sweaters, and then long sweaters over here. And then I have some pants. And then this section, there's blazers here. It should probably go into my blazer section, but they're new, so I need to remind myself to wear them, so I just leave them out here. 
Then I have this top part that I usually carry nothing in, but I do have a Swiffer because it gets dusty and then sometimes I Swiff around. I have another pull out tab here and this just has random stuff as well. So you can see I have some random jewelry packaging. I have glasses, a hand cream I need to put into my car, the cuffs that I made that are falling off. That's really bad. My toothbrush holder, that, if you're wondering what that is, is for my skates. They're like toe stops that I didn't put on. Minnie Mouse ears for Disney. Phone case. And then my leather goods and some other random leather goods that I have. And then my, my deodorant lives here, so I have that there. Okay, this drawer I'm embarrassed to show you because it's actually my junk drawer. This is more of like a replenishing drawer. I have hats, my heat curler, and then yeah, like my birth control, um, saline solution to clean my ears, nail stuff, preparation H in case I have hemorrhoids, which I only had once, but that was really painful. And then just like stuff to sugar, my coochie, you know, stuff like that. And then here I have graphic tees, tees, and pajamas. So that's what's here. And then I have, I think back there, some tube top. I have huge drawers of sweats. So these are all sweats. Once again, I roll everything because it's much easier to see. I think that's my biggest organizational tip for you guys is just to roll things. And then once again, sweats. So if there's any bald spots in like my drawer, so here and here, it's because I'm wearing something. My other tip probably is to, I hang cardigans, but I don't hang my sweaters, um, unless it's like one of these ones, which I just haven't had room to put into my um, drawer over here. And then I do keep my matching sets together. So this is a matching set, the pants are underneath it. This is a matching set, so the skirts underneath it. This is a matching set, so I think the pants and skirts are together here. So that's what I do with those. And then in here, I really don't like this section because it looks so junky. It's my skirts and dresses. So this is my only skinny long section. I don't own that many skirts and dresses. And then underneath I have a ton of shoes that I have yet to wear. And then underneath I have more shoes that I have yet to wear. And back here I keep my Hello Kitty guitar and some gift wrapping <laughs> because you never know when you need a gift bag and you can see like this part is really messy and harley's just between things so i need to put that away clearly so this is my tripod for taking photos it's just out i need to put away those clothes random things i need to um donate uh this stuff i need to put away too i got a new tripod for when I go to Aritzia, you can see there's hair everywhere because I have hair everywhere. Also, a good tip is that these gift bags, I actually usually get them from Winners and you can find them on sale and they always come with like the tissue paper. So they're like super cheap. They are around like two to three dollars. So I think that's really good. When you pan up here, it's just random stuff. So I have my roller blades, roller skates, I have some boots, and then this stuff is just all empty boxes. This is the light I have. I think I showed it to you guys in my last vlog. It's the Soul Clint light from Ikea. So those are usually my coats. My bigger coats are in another closet, but these are like my spring coats, trench coats, blazers, raincoat. I have some robes and then shirt jackets over here. And then I have scarves and random stuff that's just in there you guys have one of these kind of mirrors um sorry that's my epilator <laughs> please ignore that i love putting one of those 3m hooks back here and then you can use it as storage so i store all my tote bags back here and then i also have random stuff that i have back here like boxes and this stuff is like leather cleaner brass cleaner sunscreen Disney magic bands, stuff like that. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't really like much of an organizational tip, so I just kind of went along the way. I'm gonna finish cleaning up because it is hella messy, but I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have any tips to make this look a lot more aesthetically pleasing. I would love that. Follow me on Instagram at underscore hello Harley. Follow me on TikTok at hello Harley, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.